Imagine a bridge so scary that you can't even stand while crossing it. China is home to some of the most mind-blowing bridges on Earth. Whether it's a bridge suspended in the sky or the longest sea crossing in the world, China has made everyone question what's really possible with engineering. If you're afraid of heights, this bridge will test your limits. This is the Zhangjiajie Glass Bridge. When it opened in 2016, it was flooded with tourists ready to take on the ultimate challenge. It's built at a height of 984 feet above the canyon in Zhangjiajie National Forest Park. At the time of its opening, it was crowned as the world's highest and longest glass bottom bridge. The bridge is made of a metal frame with 120 glass panels. Each of these panels is three layered and has an individual thickness of two inches. The panels are held together by glue. That's a scary little fact since the bridge claims to support 800 visitors at a time. Obviously, a few people were skeptical of the bridge's safety. To gain public trust, the engineers carried out multiple tests to gauge its strength. These included hitting the glass with a giant sledgehammer. The top glass did show cracks, but was still intact. To take it even further, 30 tourists were invited to test the glass's sturdiness. None of the volunteers managed to smash right through the panel. Right afterward, a two-ton vehicle was made to cross the cracked glass. The Zhangjiajie glass bridge has passed its safety test. Just 13 days after the bridge was opened, the bridge had attracted 80,000 visitors in a single day. This was 10 times the expected attendance. The bridge's incredible height and glass structure had a lot to do with its sudden height. However, there was another reason why a lot of people wanted to see this attraction. As mentioned earlier, the bridge is located between two mountains at the Zhangjiajie National Forest Park. This specific location was used as an inspiration for the Avatar movies. The floating mountains, shown in the original Avatar movie, were directly modeled after Zhang Jiajie's mountain. That's why you will also find life-size Avatar characters throughout this park. Taking advantage of the bridge's height, there's also a bungee jumping platform available. For $420, you can experience a sheer drop of almost 1,000 feet. Now it's about time we discuss how this marvel was built. To build the bridge, four support pillars were erected on the edges of the walls of the canyon. The pillars were later covered with trees and plants to assimilate them with the surrounding beauty. Designer Haim Dotan wanted to make the bridge almost invisible. That's why a lot of emphasis was put on making the bridge as slim as possible. The steel beams supported the structural glass plates, which was key to the bridge's lean figure. No other bridge in China had achieved such a slim girder for such a long span. This and other innovative techniques have allowed the Zhangjiajie glass bridge to break 10 world records. Given how iconic the whole bridge is, Forbes believes that it should host fashion runways. After the wild success of the Zhangjiajie glass bridge, China has seen a flurry of glass attractions spring up across the country. There are an estimated 2,300 glass bridges in China. Some walkways even mimic glass cracking when tourists walk on them. However, these creative glass creations have been in trouble recently. BBC reported that in 2018, one tourist died and six others were injured after they fell off a glass slide in Guangxi province. Since then, China has temporarily shut down 32 such bridges. That's a stark reminder that not everything that shines is gold. Attractions like these may come and go with trends, but some bridges are built for more than just thrills. They are built for survival. This next bridge is a lifeline for China's southwest region. It connects the provinces of Guizhou and Yunnan while passing through a deep gorge of the Beipan River. That would explain why the bridge is named the Beipanjiang Bridge. It's the highest bridge in the world, sitting at an elevation of 1,800 feet. Just by looking at it, it's no surprise. This space is enough to fit the Empire State Building underneath and still have some to spare. Designed by a team of Chinese engineers, the Cable State Bridge has a main span that carries four lanes of traffic. Before the bridge, travel between Guizhou and Yunnan was extremely difficult. The rugged terrain forced drivers to take treacherous roads through the mountains. This would add up to a four-hour journey full of dangerous turns at every point. The Bei Panjiang Bridge has shortened this distance to just one hour. So in addition to a safer journey, you will also get spectacular views of the surrounding mountains. And if you are lucky enough, the clouds will also add to the effect. The bridge is a vital part of the G56 Expressway in China that connects its southern cities. 
In this way, Beipanjiang plays its part in improving the local economy and trade. However, building a bridge so high up is no easy feat. Engineers had to choose the best design to complete their milestone, so they opted for a cable-stayed bridge supported by massive towers with cables to hold up the deck. This design was chosen because it allows for long spans with fewer supports, making it ideal for crossing deep valleys where building pillars in the riverbed would be nearly impossible. Two giant pylons, one on each side of the gorge, were built first. These towers rise 883 feet above the ground, making them some of the tallest bridge towers in the world. Engineers had to anchor these pylons deep into the Rocky Mountains to ensure stability. Once the towers were in place, workers installed the cables that would support the bridge deck. These high-strength steel cables were stretched across the gorge, carefully tensioned to bear the weight of the roadway. The segments of the bridge's main span were added from both sides until they met in the middle. Temperatures at this height are extreme, so the engineers incorporated a cable freeze monitoring technology using image identification alarms. This system ensures operational safety in freezing weather conditions. After years of planning and intense construction, the bridge opened to traffic in December 2016. It set the benchmark for high altitude construction and displayed China's incredible prowess in engineering. However, no record lasts forever. A new challenger is on the rise that is about to dethrone the Beipanjiang Bridge. Enter the Huajiang Canyon Bridge, a project that will soon surpass Beipanjiang in height, making it the highest bridge on the planet. Like its competitor, the Huajiang Bridge connects two mountain peaks while crossing the deep Huajiang Canyon. Measuring from the ground up, the bridge is situated at an elevation of 2,000 feet. It is designed as a suspension bridge with a stiffened steel truss, aiming for a classic look reminiscent of the Art Deco era. Combined with its breathtaking surroundings, the Huajiang Bridge will leverage its tourism potential. The site will feature a huge Zaha Hadid-style tourist center building, showing the suspension bridge as well as the ancient history of the canyon and its regional people. For those who want to see more in the area, guests can stay in private bungalows that overlook the bridge. The southern tower will have a glass elevator that will rise to the top of the south tower, offering breathtaking views of the canyon. This elevator will stop at various levels, including a platform with a bar and cafe located between the two main cable saddles. There are also plans to introduce bungee jumping at the end of the truss walkway. This will make it the highest bungee jumping platform in the world. As a key component of the Liujian Long Expressway, the bridge will cut travel time across the canyon from about one hour to two minutes. This improved connectivity is expected to boost local tourism by attracting more visitors to attractions nearby, such as the famous Huangguoshu Waterfall. As of recent updates, the bridge is 95% complete. It is set to open in the second half of 2025, with the bridge deck installation expected to finish by mid-March. For our next bridge, we want to spice things up a bit. It's not located above a mountain or even a land to begin with. It's on water. China has created a $19 billion bridge connecting itself and Hong Kong. It's the longest sea crossing bridge in the world and connects three regions, the cities of Zhuhai and Macau in China with Hong Kong. These three regions lie in the Pearl River Delta, a densely populated and urbanized region in Southern China. The bridge is accurately named the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. For simplification, we will be calling it HZMB. Since its opening in late 2018, the traveling time between Hong Kong and Macau Zhuhai has been shortened sharply from over five hours to 45 minutes. Its total length is 34 miles, which makes it both the longest sea crossing and the longest open sea fix link in the world. For context, this is 20 times the length of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. To build this monster, nearly 400,000 tons of steel plate and a million tons of concrete were used in the construction. With this amount, you can easily create 60 Eiffel Towers or 8 Burj Dubai. Apart from the practicality, the designers at ARUP also paid due attention to the visual appeal of the structure. The bridge towers of the main span are purposefully made to resemble the mast of a sailboat. All three bridges were proposed to be cable-supported with central towers of different shapes placed between them. So in case of a natural disaster, the bridge can withstand magnitude 8 quake and super typhoon. 
As far as ambition goes, this project is definitely on top. However, the bigger the project, the more trouble it faces. Ever since its opening in 2018, the bridge has been the target of various accusations. The most serious concern was the amount of workers' deaths and injuries during construction. More than 10 deaths were reported on the Hong Kong side of the construction project, with nine on the mainland side. There were also environmental concerns linking the project. The Pearl River Delta is famous for hosting the Chinese white dolphin, an endangered marine species. It's believed that only 2,000 of them exist, and the bridge construction has decreased their number significantly. Some also believe that the bridge was a missed opportunity to add a rail link. In practical terms, a double lane could be reserved for the railway, while the rest would be used for automobiles. However, not all ambitious bridge projects are met with the same level of controversy. Some are equally loved by both critics and travelers. We are referring to the Pingtang Bridge in Guizhou Province, China. Its main span is supported by three concrete towers. The central one reaches a height of almost 1,000 feet, the equivalent of a 110-story skyscraper. This makes it the tallest concrete tower anywhere in the world. The main span features a cable-stayed design with a length of 7,000 feet. If you compare the Pingtang Bridge globally, it resembles the Milau Viaduct in France. The Milau Viaduct has long been considered the most beautiful bridge in the world, with multiple support towers like its Chinese counterpart. Being compared to a marvel like that is high praise for the Pingtang itself. So it wasn't really a surprise when Pingtang Bridge won the 38th Gustavs Lindesar Prize in 2020. This award is considered the equivalent of a Nobel Prize in bridge building. It takes so much time and planning to build a bridge that the end result is almost worth it. However, sometimes even all that hard work can go to waste if the bridge collapses. We have compiled a list of the most horrific bridge collapses in history. So if you are interested, you can watch it after this one.